first time Doc went down there and actually found that it was more than just a cave and he found the treasure? Or he found out it was a treasure storehouse. Uh -huh. what, what did he say when he came out of the mine? Well, he uh, couldn't believe it. He he didn't know that rick of um, bars there was gold. They were tarnished. Those people back there had no way to take their ore to the mine or uh, smelter, so they uh, melted up a conglomeration, gold, silver, copper, and lead, and there was some platinum in there, too. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, uh, he had told me that uh, it must have been a big market for pig iron in the early days. I said, why, why did you say that? And he said, well, i never seen so much. And uh, so then uh, he said that they'd been ricked up, but the dirt from the wall had come clear down, slope, dust had in years, clear to the edge. And he said, I took my hand and ricked that off in a little spot. And he said that just like uh, laying, just like your fingers, you'd lay wood, one uh, log after another. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he didn't bother it, for he thought that was the uh, least of his troubles. And uh, he was bringing out the m money and uh, l things that uh, he could get in there, and jewels, and bringing them out. And we all seen them. So uh, after this must have been in the spring of 39, I asked him to bring out a, b a bar of that pig iron that he was telling me about. And uh, he said uh, that was too heavy, he had, too hard to get out of there. But he found a small one and he br brought it out. And he said, this is the last one of them babies I'm gonna bring out. And, I, and he throwed it on the ground and it was uh, gravel and it kind of scooted a little. Well, he was drinking his coffee and eating and we was looking at it over there. And I went over to pick it up and he just laughed and he said, pick it up, pick it up. And uh, I couldn't, and it was too heavy. And he gave me his knife and told me to scoot it under there and roll it over in my hand. When I rolled it over, I seen it was shiny where it hit the gravel. I said, well, Doc, this is yellow. Look at it. And he looked at that, and the sun was right at the right hour to shine right down on it. And he'd come over there, and he uh, whittled it with his hunting knife. And he rubbed his head, and he said, well, babe, if that's gold, and all that other is gold like it, we can call John D. Rockefeller a tramp.